Statum Troubleshooting, What You Need to Know First Troubleshooting the Statum Autoclave, What You Need to Know First Note, error codes that are not currently used by SciCan are listed as not currently in use or not listed here. The key to Statum error codes is to first identify which model you are servicing because the terms used in the error codes and operation messages may differ between the earlier and later models. It is important to know the software revision your Statum is running in order to properly troubleshoot and use these error codes. At power on, the display will read, Statum 2000 S201R501. This display will report whether you have a model 2000 or 5000 and shows the autoclave software revision level. The revision level in this example shows Rev. 501. This will only be displayed for 5 seconds. Then it will switch to select a cycle. Statum autoclaves manufactured from 1990 to 1994 may display select a program and the software revision may not be shown. At the startup of the sterilization process, the earlier models display the operation message select program in the LCD display panel, while the later models display select a cycle. Both messages, while different, actually mean the same thing, the user is being asked to select which of the three cycles to begin. Error codes and operation messages indicated on the LCD panel differ on the earlier models versus the later models. The earlier models display the phrase check cassette followed by a number 1 to 8, while the later models display cycle fault followed by a number 1 to 27. With both the earlier and later models, each number represents a different type of error. Note, not all numbers are used, so only those numbers that are used will be addressed here. In addition to error codes, an operation message may also appear on the LCD display for both the earlier and later models. Error codes and messages help to troubleshoot the exact cause of the problem. In addition, the system on both the earlier and later models is designed to abort when an error occurs. During the sterilization process, there are six stages that the machine goes through from start to finish and the LCD displays each stage number as it occurs during the process. Stage number 1. Warming up. During this stage, the distilled water heats up from room temperature to 95 degrees Celsius in the steam generator slash boiler. The water is actually pumped from the reservoir and then heated in the steam generator slash boiler. Stage number 2. Conditioning. After the initial warming stage, the steam is injected into the cassette. The steam temperature continues to rise from 95 degrees Celsius. The vent solenoid will open and close several times to maintain proper cassette steam temperature expelling steam slash air into the condenser waste bottle. Stage number 3. Pressurizing. The pressure increases as the cassette temperature rises to the factory set temperatures for the unwrapped, wrapped and rubber and plastic cycles. The vent solenoid will open and close several times to maintain proper cassette steam temperature, expelling steam and or air into the condenser waste bottle. Stage number 4. Sterilization. The temperature and pressure is maintained for the chosen cycle. Air slash steam is being purged from the cassette as the vent solenoid valve opens and closes several times to maintain optimum temperature. The pump continues to pump distilled water into the steam generator slash boiler which in turn pumps saturated steam into the cassette. The condenser waste bottle collects and allows the steam to cool down safely. Stage number 5. Venting. The sterilization cycle is completed and the vent solenoid valve opens to 1. Allow the pressure in the cassette to depressurize via the exhaust path into the condenser waste bottle, and, 2. Allow the steam to cool down safely. Stage number 6. Drying. The air compressor forces air through the heated steam generator slash boiler into the cassette, therefore drying the instruments. The drying cycle will run for 60 minutes or until interrupted by pressing the stop button. Keep in mind that when the stop button is pressed, the following message is displayed, please wait. Cycle complete. Remove cassette only when the message displays. Remove cassette cycle complete. Note, there are no error codes applicable to this stage. The following sections describe each LCD error code or message that might appear during any of the six sterilization stages. In addition, we include troubleshooting tips and things to check for each error code and message. Sterilizer questions answered. If you have any other questions, call us at 1 800 762. 1586 or email us at info at sterilizers.com. There is more information you can find on sterilizers.com where you can call, email, WhatsApp, FB Messenger, or web chat.